The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of our trading hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at. You could be uh, trapped in a room watching Fed presidents answer questions without answering any questions whatsoever. That would probably mean that you're in Washington, D.C. And we'd send out uh, a little bit of white light for you uh, for going into the belly of the beast. But uh, I am not. I'm in the free state of Florida, uh, minutes away from the beach, although it's kind of cold today. But it uh, doesn't really matter where I'm at or you're, as long as we're together at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on? Uh, as I said yesterday, a few things just didn't add up. And two, I'm not a big fan of being bearish when everybody else is bearish. Uh, we get these kind of huge moves uh, as we've had now. So we're a couple hundred points off the lows uh, in the S&P 500. Not surprising. This is the way, even if you believe you're a bear. Uh, what was that uh, guy that, uh, the average bear? Uh, I can't even remember the cartoon now. Uh, the average bear, he had his little buddy with him. Can't remember. Uh, what was that? Yogi, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Anyway, if you're a bear, um, I've said it over the last couple of weeks. I'm going to say it again today. When everybody gets short, there's something that comes back and hits me like a hammer in the middle of the forehead every single time it's a line from uh, uh or a passage out of the book from uh fooled by randomness uh it's not a at least a week if not a day that something out of that book comes back and talks to me and uh, yes i hear voices um but they're telling me not to tell you about hearing voices um uh, Anyway, in the book, he talks about one big thing, and that is when uh, everybody becomes incredibly uh, despondent, get out. Uh, we talked about if you just count the amount of days that a market goes down, uh, and even in a bear market, it's still about 25%. Uh, the market's going up about 75% of the time. It's going down about 25% of the time, whether it's a bullish or bearish market. The difference is the uh, the, the uh, amount or the uh, value that it goes up. Uh, it goes up generally fairly quick uh, in a uh, once the uh, bear rate is over. Uh, of course, in a bull market, you're always going up. You get the short, real quick pulls down and that are get bought. But this is the opposite side. And as long as everybody's still afraid, everybody's still quiet, what you want to listen to are those voices, not the ones I'm hearing, uh, but those voices that talk about how bad everything is going lower. When they shut up, it's like the proverbial pot that, that uh, won't boil while you're watching at it. Then when everybody's kind of given up, uh, 90, 95 percent of the people still think, well, it's over. Then you want to watch. And if everybody gives up shorting, that's when the market will move its next big move lower. And generally, not before then. And the Fed is being rather accommodative. Um, and, of course, uh, the reaction uh, to, a th to a few things is just uh, beyond the pale. Uh, we were in the den talking about uh, earnings coming through uh, after the bell last night. And I saw what I thought was one of the more spectacular earnings reports for Microsoft. Uh, but, uh, wow, it was down about 270, 269, something like that. And uh, this something smelled really bad. 
Um, my model uh, didn't change with those numbers coming in. It still said that it was 80% chance that uh, Microsoft would open above 290 this morning. And I thought that was a – you rarely get – or my models rarely say that much uh, before it. And so you got to act on that. I didn't buy Microsoft. I did something else. But um, you got to act on it when you get – Two aces. What you don't do is slow play them. Uh, if you're a poker fan, you'll understand the reference. Uh, but you have to get to it. And, of course, uh, that means that uh, I was up till 5 o'clock this morning, uh, took uh, a three-hour uh, nap and had the alarms on uh, with two different computers on in case this thing came back at me. But uh, <clears throat> if you're trading futures... Um, the old saying is uh, future traders sleep like babies. They wake up wet and screaming. I'm not a big fan of going into futures, but when I saw that yesterday, it just didn't make one hoot of sense. And it looked like the trap that it ended up being uh, a bear trap. And of course, uh, I don't know what they're doing right now. Let's take a look at Microsoft. But, uh, you know, you've got really the uh, murderer's row. Uh, coming up, we're at uh, 305. I thought 80% chance that it does uh, 290. Uh, I would probably have said that a 50% chance it got above 300. Certainly, we got that. Uh, and again, everybody's short. Just look the other way. If you if you're bearish and you can't stand it, go walk your dog. Go down to the beach. Go do something fun with all that money you made instead of giving it back. But um, the people that have always made money uh, and quick money uh, in shorting stocks tend to have a very bad habit of coming back to the well like they do in bull markets. And that's the best way to give all your cash back. Don't do it. 877-927-6648. Uh, um, yes, I'm out of uh, – uh, I wanted to see uh, – uh, 4450 on the S&P cash. I still have my other positions. I wouldn't sell those. But if you've got something uh, like futures that are highly leveraged, uh, you got to take the money when you can. And, you know, did it hit there for a second? Will it rotate? Will it move around a bit? Yeah. But uh, I think the next couple of days are going to be pretty good. Uh, of course, uh, see, uh, tonight we've got a few stocks coming out. Tesla after the bell. Um, LRCX, uh, Seagate, Intel, uh, now, ServiceNow, uh, Levi, and Las Vegas Sands. Uh, they're all positive on the day. Tesla is the leader up 5% on it. Uh, is it going to do horribly? Probably not. My guess is it's got $1,000 uh, in it after earnings. Uh, there's a, bit, a lot of problems in that stock, but again, you don't want to be short until everybody kind of gives up on that side of the market. Could they surprise? They could. But I think everybody's been lied to so many times by Tesla that does it really matter what he says? They're just going to crowd in and uh, pray to the, uh, to the uh, tech swami. But uh, yeah, I think tomorrow, tomorrow night, things look good for Apple. Back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, let's do a little bit of history and then we'll get in to what's going on. I take it the uh, Fed president will be uh, talking here in about uh, 12 minutes. And, of course, uh, that means that uh, we'll be enduring uh, the no talk, uh, no answer, uh, dodge every question, Fed speak for the next 45 minutes after that. And then we'll get back into what the market's actually doing. I just suspect that everybody went and shorted the living daylights out of that uh, 4450. And, uh, you know, could we get uh, 4500 for uh, Friday's close? I think we could. Um, you know, we looked at, uh, we'll look at GLW in a minute. Uh, but that looks very good for uh, Apple. Apple uh, has a little bit upside. Uh, that's all you're going to need to uh, drive the indexes higher. Uh, let's do a little history and then we'll move on to stocks. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1998, Compact Computer purchased Digital Equipment Corporation for $9.6 billion. Digital or DEC was a pioneering company in the early history of computers from 1960s to 80s. Unfortunately, it was seen uh, with many companies that are slow to recognize the rise of the PC, which ultimately led to the sell-off of the company's business units, uh, accumulating with the uh, final sale to Compaq. Compaq itself was eventually merged with HP. And, of course, I actually am an owner of a, a PDP-11 digital equipment uh, corporation computer, it's kind of the uh, eight 16-bit computers of the 70s before PCs really came along. They're big, they're heavy, and mine needs a lot of restoration, but uh, eh, it works. But uh, I'm going to have to spend probably a couple of months working on it, but uh, haven't felt like doing that quite yet. I'll wait until it's miserably hot outside um, and uh, the good weather uh, moves through, but uh, Middle of July and August is a good time to start working on stuff inside down here in Florida. 4411, as I said, uh, uh, don't get too excited out here. Uh, my guess is that why 4450 may be the high of the day in the S&P, 
uh, more than likely we're probably going to kind of meander back up that way as long as everybody keeps pounding on the uh, on the uh, indexes. I don't think there's a whole lot above that. Uh, there could be 4,500 depending on how Apple comes out with earnings. Uh, but uh, I'd say it's good. Oh, that's why I wanted to get to. Uh, to, 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 to give me a call, 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, Corning had a little bit of a, of a Gartley pattern. It did a little bit too much of a retrace for me. Uh, but uh, it was okay. Uh, but um, this is why you should fear, not fear the Reaper. That's a song. You should fear Apple and what it's doing. Uh, this is telling you something. Uh, GLW is, of course, a company that makes uh, all the Gorilla Glass for all those high-end smartphone phones like Samsung and uh, Apple. And that's telling you something. Uh, you don't get that far out of uh, uh, being wrong out here. I didn't see it coming in. It wasn't a bad-looking thing. Um, you tested the previous October 27th low, $35.24 with 7.2 million shares. Came into it two days ago with 6 million shares. So there wasn't anything out here saying uh, no uh, burning bush uh, with tablets made of stone saying buy me. But uh, it gives you a little indication that somebody's doing some bidness. And uh, you know what I mean. Bidness. If you've uh, been around people that have talked like that. Uh, meandering. Is that like jaywalking? Kind of. Uh, Apple-related. G-S-A-T. Okay. Global Star. Mobile satellite services worldwide. Man, I tell you what, I don't know how you, you know, you get into this. Um, you're betting that maybe they can sell the licenses to someone else. But I don't know if that's the way it works. Uh, but certainly, if you're talking about mobile satellite services worldwide, uh, Musk, um just launched, what, two weeks ago? Uh, the first of the laser in a connected satellites. I don't, haven't heard whether those are working yet, but I don't know why any of this stuff's even still in business, other than maybe there's some kind of value in the licenses for the uh, positions they have their satellites in. But I, I mean, I don't know if it uh, if SpaceX goes belly up. Someone is just going to buy all those satellites because there is a ton of them already out there. I, you know, I just don't see it. Uh, you know, there's some teething pains with uh, Starlink from uh, SpaceX. Uh, but so far, uh, all the reviews on uh, I was going to get it. I decided not to and probably a good thing because if you live in climate or uh, uh, places where it's hot like it is down here they can shut down if they're out in the sun too long uh, they're working on making new versions of that but uh, you know what not a bad product from what everybody says now they're only about what one tenth of the way through with all the satellites they need uh, but the first reports of those uh, laser interconnected sat uh, satellites which means that uh, you'll be able to talk uh, across uh, things like the middle of the ocean uh, to those satellite uplinks. I know there's a big company here in in uh, Tampa working on the uh, aquatic marine version of that and another one for uh, RVs. Of course, RVs is another big business down here in Tampa. If you ever go uh, uh, east of town, it's just uh, rather amazing. But uh, now... Eh, don't think there's a whole lot going on here. Um, yeah, we got we a couple more minutes, five more minutes. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I you got to bounce out of here. But generally, if you're a satellite company and you're a dollar stock, you're circling the drain. And there's one reason to buy you, and that is maybe 
that license for those satellite, maybe the positions are in, something like that is there. But you have to look at how much debt these companies have. But uh, there's so many of these out here. I just don't know how they're going to be able to compete. Uh, even if SpaceX goes belly up, whoever buys them, because all those satellites are going to be up there, gets to come in. Um, they're going to have something for two or three years, and in the meantime, they can build their business out on it. But uh, I don't see any of these others. I think the big key to Musk, uh, it's not even Musk, it's the gal on SpaceX over there on the opposite side of uh, Florida from us, uh, who really has it going on. And uh, the more he kind of stays away from it, the better I like it. And, uh, looks like a good idea and good business. Uh, it's going to run at a loss for a little while. That means that people like Global Star is going to have a hard time. We'll be back in. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, we're back like a bad rash and seeing what's going on in the market. Um... Yeah, 44.30. Again, I'm thinking that at least in the Friday that we're probably going to be okay. Now, I could be wrong on Apple, but I don't think so. I think you're probably looking at uh, two or three bucks higher in Apple. Uh, probably uh, maybe in earnings, 
and maybe just after earnings, but I think there's probably a couple more bucks higher out there. I think a lot of people are going to go and look for a company that's got uh, $200 billion that can buy their share back. I think there's a lot of other stocks to be shorting other than Apple, uh, other than Microsoft. For all I know, it was them buying it all back that drove it up higher today. You never know. But guess what? There's a, I heard something uh, years ago, uh, and it was uh, by somebody who was a complete moron. And I was shocked that they had something interesting and valuable to say. But, you know, stop clock and all that. Uh, we were talking about something. I forget what it was. Uh, in the Somebody getting in a fight with a newspaper. And uh, she said, uh, uh, she said, uh, her dad used to say, "Don't get in fight. Uh, don't get in uh, get in a fight with someone that buys ink in 55 gallon barrels." And of course, this is a newspaper for you folks that uh, don't remember what those things are, uh, like us old folks who remember getting our fingers dirty. But uh, that's kind of it. I don't understand the whole idea of getting in a war with somebody. Um, they can uh, really thrash you uh, if they want to, just for the thrill of it. Uh, but there's a reason why those companies have become big and huge, and that is because they buy shares back. And uh, for all I know, that's what they've been doing this week uh, on earnings. But uh, I'm not a big fan of coming out here and trying to attack this. You want the market to calm down. You want it to hit some highs. You want lots of people forgetting about whatever happened the last couple of weeks. When things calm down, generally you'll get some kind of thing. Now, one of the things I was talking about in the den, I don't know, in the mid part, and why I wasn't thinking that a high had come in quite yet today, was uh, the dogs, uh, those stocks that really couldn't get out of their own way. Maybe they were up a couple of percent or two or three but, you know, they may have 20, 30, uh, 40 percent short interest and they just hadn't squeezed yet. I'm trying to remember a time when they didn't before the market turned south. It almost seems uh, like a rite of passage to see a market ready to break down, going after some stock that's got an enormous amount of short interest, only to have it club you and run you out of your stop fairly quickly and then re and reverse. So. Generally, I'm a big fan if I'm sitting out here, like I said, I'm not in really of uh, much of anything uh, that would be problematic. Uh, I've got options uh, right now for the daily newsletter, and I'm more than willing to sit on those. But it will take a while. But, uh, you know, if you don't have some defined risk in the market, you want to have it. But uh, like I said, probably going to play around up here. Going to go into earnings. I'm going to expect that uh, Tesla at least holds its own. Uh, and we're going to probably see Apple do very well. And I think that is a lot. In fact, uh, what else we have out here? I think uh, after the bell tonight, like we said, we've got uh, Tesla. But uh, to, to, to what's tomorrow? Yeah, I forgot to put it on here. Okay, tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow morning, we've got uh, to, to, to uh, MasterCard, New, uh, McDonald's, Blue, Love, Mo, BX. Thursday night is Apple, uh, Hood. We've got V and X and uh, WDC. So uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, STX tonight, you're going to get a view of Seagate uh, that you can put on Western Digital. For Thursday night, uh, you've got Clack, Juniper, and Mondelez uh, after the bell on Thursday night. Do, 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 do. Let's get that back up here. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I'm just I'm thinking that everybody's a little bit kind of far out uh, in the biotech space. Like I said, I think people are looking for bigger names like Microsoft and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and well-known names. I don't know if you're going to see as much of that. But my guess is if you do see one of those biotech stocks rip about 15%, 20%, then I'm going to start looking for the downside in the rest of the markets. But that's kind of what I'm talking about. You're going to get these stocks that are way out there, and it's going to be problematic. 
Ah, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Where do I think NVIDIA is going? The other one I covered earlier. Um, right now, I think you got uh, 270 in NVIDIA on a dead cat bounce. Again, these are companies, uh, you know, do they have sky high PEs? Yes. What else do they have? They could sell four times what they want to today. Also, the other one that you're talking about, to uh, Todd. Uh, these are all companies that could sell four times as much stuff tomorrow if they could build it. And maybe there's some other problems where they can't build it. But I would not be short the companies. And maybe, maybe you made some money. But I'm thinking there are a lot of companies that were literally going out of business you could have shorted. I don't am not a big fan of going after companies with big PEs. Uh, that I also can, like I said, be able to sell four times as much stuff. And probably the rest of the year they could do that and not ever catch up. So not a big fan of it. But uh, even then, I know everybody's talking about big PEs. But I'd say Dead Cat Bounce takes you to 270 on NVIDIA. And that could be just the next couple of days. Um, you know, that gets up there. All the volume falls out. You start seeing stocks that don't have huge sales going forward that have problems, that's when I think the next leg would come back in. You know, maybe something happens, maybe the uh, Russia invades, but I don't think they're going to do that. We've got probably another week to 10 days uh, for them. They're going to wait till the uh, till the new moon. And I'm pretty sure you've got, uh, what, seven, 10 days? Maybe somebody that didn't knows. But they're in uh, Seoul, I think, anymore. Uh, in the military that wants to go in on a full moon so or even a partial moon so uh, we shall see uh, do, 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 okay yeah maybe they'll fool us but maybe they'll get bad weather you know you can get some really bad weather and then full moon or partial half moon doesn't bother you as much but uh, generally, they don't want the chance of the getting halfway in there and then the moon comes out and they're all silhouetted Why everybody picks them off. Uh, okay. Uh, to, 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 what else do we have here? Oh, uh, can I take a look at Apple? Uh, I can. And what do you have? You got the bounce out here. Um, I suspect you're really talking about maybe 170, 172 out here. Uh, I don't know if you get all of that on earnings, but maybe a little bit on earnings, a little bit going into Friday's close. A lot of short positions in app. I don't understand it. You go after the weak. You don't go after the strong when you're short. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, we've got uh, Mike, who's uh, bathing in Cancun, where he yeah, says you it's 80, 83 degrees, huh? Yep, uh, it's 27C, whatever that is, and it's... Yeah, that sounds pretty close. So what yeah, do you want to talk about today? Uh, if we can take a team, take a look at T-Mobile, I, I, I'm kind of married to that one right now, um, a long-term what's, investment. What's the symbol uh, now that thinking. they got uh, put together? What's that? Well, uh, is the merger done with Sprint and all that? What's going on? I haven't paid attention. Well, I mean, T-Mobile, uh, they use frequencies that penetrate uh, buildings much more. That they, lower, they use the lower frequencies, and uh, therefore, you have better distribution of the 5G. And they, are not, they don't have to put up with the issues at the airports. With interference yeah. of I, the, I understand the technology. I, I understand the technology. I don't understand... What's going on between them and the merger? Do you know about that? No, I haven't followed that. What's what's going on there? Well, they've been trying to uh, get together with Sprint, TMUS. Okay. Oh, that's that's all I'm done with. That that's a long time ago. Yeah, I, I thought it was. I just hadn't really paid attention. I understand the thing. Okay, TMUS. No, they 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 acquired all those frequencies uh, from Sprint, and that's why yeah, they're so I strong did, now like, on the five G. Yeah. And I'm wondering why that stock is not going up. And it didn't go up when the rest of the market uh, went down. Oh, well, it, because, it did go because, up a bit when the when the market went down. That's what's strange. Yeah. Well, it's not. But I'll tell you why. Have you listened to the show before? Oh yeah. Okay. Have you heard me say that that why uh, that uh, when there's big capital spending, uh, that uh, Wall Street hates it? Yeah. Okay, that's why it's not going up. <laughs> they don't like you know they've got what three maybe five years of heavy spending, and then they'll reap the reward for the next ten fifteen years, right? But mm -hmm. one thing the one thing Wall Street does. And it's to the detriment of the companies is if you spend some money, then they put you in the penalty box. One of the reasons why Intel got behind the power curve is they it just kept not spending the money, not spending the money, not spending the money. And then they got caught out. Right. And that's generally yeah. that's generally the, the uh, Wall Street is not going to give you any kudos for that, all they care about is whether they make money on you in the next quarter. They're not really concerned on whether they make money in you in the next year or two years or five years. Now, there are some people that are involved in Wall Street that are looking at the long term and saying, okay, they're spending the money. I'm going to sit on my hands for five or ten years with it, like a buffet. But there are not that many people. Everybody's in the church of what's happening now. And... Uh, Anything where you spend lots of money means one thing. You're going to have to borrow money 
in a rising interest rate environment and no one wants to know you. No right. one wants to know no one wants to know your name or your symbol or anything else. I just hadn't really paid any attention to it because I knew both Sprint and Mobile and all the stuff that went in together was all about uh, them spending money and I never really thought that there was a, a long big future in it. When they're done spending money, the thing will probably start hitting up. Mm. Okay, so do, you don't see any bounce or anything out of this one? I, it's a horrible business to be in in a raising right, uh, rate environment. Mm. Okay, well, I, I mean, long, long term, it's great, and you want to buy it when it when it comes out. But when you're throwing up stuff and you're buying money and you're spending money, Wall Street doesn't want to know your name. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see if I can get up to the seventeen eighteen range here and then get out of it. Eh. Okay. All right. You bet. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for Bye -bye. the call. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Yeah, yeah. We got a little bit of a pullback here. Uh, to, 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 what do we have? Oh, well, that certainly wasn't nice, was it? Okay, we must have said something that someone didn't like. Uh, to, 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 to. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, uh, question about Micron. Still probably the best semiconductor company out there, as they are the ball-bearing company in the semiconductors. Uh, you had a bounce off the low. You got a, kind of a light volume bounce out here today. Yeah, not much going on. Just suspect that uh, eh, if anybody in the den knows what they said. But, uh, eh. Okay. I'm looking at a few things here real quick while we go on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question about the SMHs. SMH. Okay. You got kind of a light volume bounce, but I don't see much else out here. Probably should hold 270, as I said. After all this rigmarole's done, everybody's done uh, uh, in an orgy of shorting. We're probably getting ready for the next leg up in the market into Apple's earnings. Maybe they won't come out with good earnings, but I don't know. Um, I felt about uh, the same on Microsoft's. Let's take a quick look at them and see how they're doing now after the uh, polar plunge here, which we're still eh, not up that much. But uh, apparently they're giving Mr. Powell the raspberry. Eh, came back. You still got, uh, eh, still got a little bit more, uh, 298 or so on Microsoft. Got lots of volume back here off of it. Um, 276, the January 24th low, you had some volume. So eh, could you come back to 295? I think you can. Uh, energy was about the same on the way up on the way down. I don't think it's tremendously bullish right off the bat. But there's some stuff there. Uh, two, 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 two. Okay, we've got Microsoft. Question about Workday. W-D-A-Y. We'll get to that real quick. Two, two, two. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that's back down. You know, this actually doesn't look bad. You've got another seven bucks lower. To test the low of 220, the July 27th low in work day, that had 7 million shares. You got about three today. So this one just looks like it's getting ready to join its little friends back here from July 27th. But that looks pretty close to being ready if the volume doesn't pick up before the end of the day. Maybe it takes a day or two to come out, but that looks rather interesting. So thanks for that, uh, Ronald. Um, question about Lennar. Are the housing, is the housing sector done? Okay. And someone in the den says, the pal says, there's a lot of room to raise rates without dampening employment, but apparently the housing market. Uh, you got light volume in this too. 
Um, he had a four million share low two days ago. At about two million shares now. Gonna have to wait until the uh, close comes in. Find it. Uh, that's it. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. We've got Arnold who asks, uh, so is this pullback a buy? Uh, it depends on what you add. Like I said, uh, this is a, a market all about individual stocks now. Maybe not so much the indexes, but yeah, I bought some stuff uh, during the break uh, out here. So yeah, not bad. Um, time to add a little bit. Maybe I'll get rid of it before the end of the day. But uh, yeah, I think everybody will get, and after the shock, they'll get back to normal here but i don't think that there's i think a lot of people are just been overreacting but i don't think it's any different than microsoft after hours last night everybody's going to take a shot uh take the shock and then they're going to look and go well it really wasn't that bad um so we'll move on but uh eh, i could have done without the dip but it can give me an opportunity to get a few more uh, positions on. Uh, we're still up. Uh, now let me update this because it is moving so quickly. Uh, we're up 15 points on the S&P cash. Dow's down 
40 now. The Nasdaq's still up 112. Russell's up uh, 27, but that may be delayed. Uh, gold's down 32. And I thought a little bit more out of gold. But, uh, eh, what can you say? Uh, but, uh, eh, 1820 is not the end of the world. I don't know what the, uh, what the actual one is here. Let me bring that up. Eh, yeah, eighteen twenty. Eh, so you're down twelve bucks. Eh, I don't think there's a lot going on there. Well, uh, another well, show's already over. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.